Yes, sir, so welcome to Vasily's Garden, folks. Well, today we're in the warehouse and we're going to talk about where's Vasily and where's his products. That's because we're getting a lot of emails uh, from all parts of Australia asking, what's going on? You've shut down your doors. Are you still selling online? Where can I get my product? And my head just spins round and round trying to answer all those inquiries. And I'm like, wow, are you listening? Because we haven't closed down. We actually have moved away from our retail store in Coburg. Now, for those who don't know or have missed that little part there, we had the store in Coburg for about 30, 35 years, close to 35 years. We did move out of there about six years ago, out into the country, out here, which you can see a lot of our videos where they've been produced on gardening topics and obviously some of our products. Uh, but the last year we went back there and reignited it. Now we did close down about a week ago or so uh, from the date of this video, but we didn't have staff. Okay, now what I mean by that, it wasn't anybody else outside the family that working for us. So for those of you thinking, what about the staff? Well, the staff was, were the family. Now they're not out of business, they're basically not working two locations because we run the wholesale division and the manufacturing and we started running the uh, garden centre. Now that was run by my kids. Now for a lot of you who came down and support us, supported us there, uh, would obviously know that young Julia, Lewis, Anna, Lisa, myself, our eldest Eleni is obviously married and pregnant so she wasn't able to help us there but she visited with moral support and helped us pack down and she always, always brought us a nice home delicious dish to enjoy as well. Now the store has gone but we're not gone, okay? So the retail store has gone, the website is still active. Now we're going through a transitional pay, uh, stage here folks. So we've got the website still selling online for you guys because uh, a lot of you are still trying to get a lot of our products which your local garden centre is in stocking for whatever the reason. Maybe we haven't reached out to them, maybe they're not on our database or they're just stocking a small range. Now nevertheless we're actually on our mission now, uh, actively working to get to every garden centre through emails and visits. And we will do that through the next you know, a few weeks, I suppose, whatever it takes us. At the same time, if there is a garden centre near you that hasn't got our products and you'd love to see it and you're a regular shopper on our website, well, by all means, reach out to them, get them to reach out to us. Let us know as, as well if you've got that garden centre details. Share that with us. Um, don't just say, I wish you would they would stock it. Actually, give us the details of the store you're talking about so we're not guessing where we're going, uh, so that we can help you there. The aim here is, because I know a lot of you love the products. Now, yes, our followers, thank you very much for your support. We really do appreciate that over the years, and especially those at, at Coburg. And for many of you who've travelled far and wide to get down to Coburg to say hello and get your products, and even those who just come to say hello and spend some time with us, and just connecting and talking about gardening in general. We really appreciated that support. It was great. It kept us you know, motivated to keep doing what we're doing. And we were listening to a lot of you out there saying, we'd love to have these products closer to, our, to home. You know, Wodonga we're talking about, even New South. There's a heap of you emailing from South Australia and Queensland, and we're working on that. Now, the garden centres that do stock are currently, whether it's the full range or just the liquid golds or just the black grid, do go through our distributor, distributor and they can still go through our distributor. That's for sure, because they're out there for us to get the products out there. What our mission is to actually educate the garden centres on our product range so they can understand it better, how it works and the benefits it has to the garden, to the environment and your health. So these are all naturally made products, you know, certified organic, no chemicals, no artificial flavouring or colouring or whatever you want to call that stuff. Simple, down to earth, good organic products that will work for your garden. So the store in Coburg is closed. Don't ring us again and say, I'm at the front of the shop. There's no one here, what's happened? <laughs> That's what's happening. Uh, we're getting those sort of phone calls. So look, I appreciate your concerns and not realising that we've closed down. So hopefully this video reaches your feed there so you can see it yourself. But the online is still active, so you can still shop online. And what's gonna happen with the online as well is slowly, slowly, the product range is gonna diminish. We're not taking it offline until we know we've got a huge range of garden centres behind it at the moment, carrying the full range. Now, a lot of them got the liquid golds. For example, uh, Van Loon, as, you, as you're watching this now, will have just received their delivery of our liquid golds and, and Easy Hand Sprayer. 
Garden World down the southeastern suburbs has got the full range going on. What you see here, there's also the palletised um, buckets, which I didn't grab one of those, by the way. So that's the superfood pellets. Now, they've got the full range going on there, so pop down there, give them a headache, start buying all the products that you want to get there. And if they don't know, they'll be ringing us up as far as the information, but we've given them all that stuff too as well. Um, but if, as far as the bags, now, a lot of you have already asked, has Garden World got the, the planting mix, our compost, our superfood, our cocoa? No, they haven't yet, but we are reaching out to, a, to everybody about that and slowly feeding it out to the garden centres. But I can tell you who will have it shortly, not right now, but do go and visit Tino and say hello to him. He's at Ascot Vale Garden Supplies or Garden Centre. He will be stocking the full range of our pla um, planting mix, our compost and bags and stuff like that. And also Robert down at Oakley Produce. For all the Greeks out there watching this, in the second largest Greek community outside of Greece, in Oakley, and you've been driving to Kabuk all the time, well, go and say hello to Robert, Robert there. Uh, he's got the full range and he will have the bags soon to come to his place as well. Little Corner Store has got anything and everything you can imagine. He stocks a full range and he decanters a lot of the products for you know resale and he gives you all the great information. Just like the stuff behind here, for example, our disease control pack. That's something we created for our website. Will prob probably still be on our website, um, uh, but not in the garden centres. It used to be at our garden centre in Coburg. Robert's got his own range like that going, and obviously your garden centres will have pre-packaged stuff for you to be able to get. You can still get that on the website, and as well as our sulphur, which is our wettable sulphur. So we decanter those ourselves, we bag them up and, and send them out or package them. Our black root, these are the refills, so you can understand moving forward, we will always have refills on our website, small sizes. We won't be shipping at the large sizes because this stuff here costs me more than it's worth when it comes to postage. That's right. And it's, um, you know, we fill up their pockets pretty much enough. We're talking about Aussie Post. Now, they do a great job, don't get me wrong, but it is a heavy product. You know, in hindsight, if I was selling something light like clothing, underwear, or anything like that, socks, you know, you can put 10 pairs of socks in the bag there, it wouldn't even weigh half a kilo, right? So you can get that postage out there. When you want to buy two, two buckets of 18 kilos, they're 36 kilos plus the bucket, so you're hitting close to 40 kilos. Who's going to lift that up and send it to your place for 20 bucks? Nobody. And especially with the postage, uh, the fuel costs going so high. So these products, we're trying to get them to all, and not trying to, we're getting them. They're actually being ordered already as we speak. Uh, some garden centres already stock this, and I will go through the list once I know exactly and update you with it. Just as we've done already with Garden World, showing you a post on our Facebook page there, that they're ready to go. They've stocked up, they've got the grow, the grow bud, the fruition range as well, and obviously the superfood and black grid. Ah, you know what we forgot? CGWS. Seriously, mate. I'm talking to him, not you now. <laughs> we forgot the CGWS. That's our Citrus Gall uh, Wasp Spray or Citrus Guard White Spray. That's another product that we have that is fantastic to control your, you know, your, the galls that appear on your citrus trees. Found one. <laughs> there you go. Now, let me talk about another thing here with the products as far as the labels are concerned. Now, we're going through a label update, folks. So you'll be probably, well, you've probably seen this one around and some stores will probably still have this label there, which is the complete label with the label on the lid and all that stuff. Now, it's got all the information you need on it there. We're going to update the label and make it even more user-friendly because we we listen to you guys. You know, you come and say, well, how do I use this? What does it say? I don't understand. How does it work? So, well, you know what? For starters, I'm going to get the font size larger because I can't read it either. So, we're going through the label uh, upgrade. So, we're running these basic labels at the moment, which is the front and back with the instructions that you need, the basic stuff. So look out for it, and in the meantime, whilst we're doing that, the label's going to have lovely fancy pictures, you know, it's going to have some lemons on here, it'll have a little bit of a citrus gall wasp lump example, well not on this one, on this one here, that'll have lots of flowers and fruit and veggies, you know, these labels are still good, but they're also going to change, we're going to make them a bit more floral, a bit more, you know, artistic, a bit more creative, live and vibrant, so you can see from a distance what it is, rather than just what it, the basic colours there. So that's happening with our labelling, so you'll probably see the ones who are getting the stock in there from us at the moment as it is with these basic labels but the product inside is still the original stuff so we're not filling it up with you know just rocks or pebbles or something like that products are true to type and actually work tremendously well so go to your local garden center check it out or go to our stockers page for starters and check out 
who is in your neighbourhood that's stocking it? And it's all not in alphabetical order, but rather in postcode order. So if you're running through and saying this doesn't make any sense, look at the postcodes, because we've done it through the postcodes, it's a lot easier. Uh, I think that is. Well, maybe that's how I think, and it's probably wrong for you guys, but at least I've told you now. Hey. So <laughs> look at the postcodes uh, and work out which state you're in. And obviously you know that, but work out which stores near you by that. And if the reason weren't there, reach out to them. Get them to contact us if you want them to stock it and obviously reach out to us so we can reach out to them from our end so we corner the industry because the independent garden centres, you know, they're family-owned businesses like we were. Uh, well, we are still, but not in the retail world. And no matter how big or small their store is, they're all, you know, batting hard to keep it going because if you start losing that personal touch, and I'm talking about the independent garden centres, especially if you're, you guys are watching me now, you know what I'm talking about because you've been living it maybe most of your life basically you know getting out there having that connection with your your customer uh the gardener the the, the the passionate gardener who wants to have and share their personal life because gardening is not just like you know you buy an object or a product you play with a couple of times and you throw it away gardening is life whether you love your flowers or vegetables or both and fruit it's it's part of your life and you make and these gardeners who are passionate about it want to be able to speak to someone who cares just as much and is just as passionate and you don't really get that from the chain stores do you now you sort of you <laughs> i'm having visions because this is this is how i talk i see things in my head and i start talking about it and, and i've and i've experienced this and i'm sure many of you have done this too you know you're walking down the aisle you know one of those big chain stores the big sheds right and you see one of the one of the workers there or one of the team members and as soon as they see you, they get you by the peripheral vision, right? And as soon as you approach them, they, they're off like a jackrabbit, gone, mate. You, it's almost impossible to get that sort of service that you want, that personal service. But where you can get it, and I'm talking about those chainsaws, you can't get it. You get it from your independent stores, garden centres and hardware stores. And we're here to back them up. We really are. That's what we're all about. So we've done it all our life, and we want to continue doing that with the garden centres across the state. You know, one day maybe international, but for now, let's look after our own backyard, get that right, educate people with what we have. Look, and it's not just our products. There are many products out there that are great, you know, natural. And I preach this till the cows come home, folks. What I'm trying to say here is that if you're gonna grow something to consume from your garden to eat, why fill it up with toxins in the soil? Why kill off the good bacteria in the soil, the fungi, the, the life, the, you know, the creatures that live in the soil and create that organic matter for your plants to, to, to absorb and, and feed themselves? Keep it clean as possible. And these are clean. And there are plenty of other products out there from other you know, manufacturers and garden lovers and companies that do great products. Support that industry, but start off by supporting your local garden centre. That's vital for the life of life. Now, I know a lot of you have emailed saying, oh, you're going to get it into Bunnings. You know, we're talking with Bunnings, but at the moment we're more concerned about the independent garden centres. We're not going and jumping ship in any, in any um, stretch of the imagination. We are here to back up the garden centres and we want to make sure that they get the right support. We're not precious, we're not egotistical, we're none of that. We are literally simple, good old family, you know, morals, and we care about what we do with our lives and what we feed ourselves. And we want to share that passion that we have with everybody out there. And I know many of you are like-minded, if not most of you, all of you. So folks, Vasily's Garden hasn't shut down. It's actually starting a new chapter. I mean, it's a bloody big story to go there, mate. So we're working on it pretty hard. The team is now dedicated wholesomely, wholeheartedly to the wholesale division. Uh, and in the meantime, if you do need to find out, and like I said, support us if you want our products out there, go to your garden centre. <clears throat> We're going to reach out to them as well. And some will take it, some won't take it. I'm expecting a lot of them will, but there will be some garden centres. They've got their own opinion, and, and that's fine as well. We're not here to try and change and reinvent the wheel for them. If they're happy with what they have, that's great. You can still get our products on our website, vasiliesgarden.com. The large ones, only by special order. I'm going to finish off with that. So if you do want to put an order in for the 18 kilo, whilst we got it on our website before it disappears, it's 1300 627 374. Give Monique, Julia, 
at Tracy a headache. They love it. They love a challenge and they like being busy. So the busier they are, the happier they are. And Cara and Vader are always sitting beside them. If I'm not here, you can one day, one day we'll actually go upstairs and meet the ladies as well. And you can see how the puppies sit around them and just protect them as well. So the ladies are here to service, service you and take all your messages and inquiries. And we're here to grow the brand. If you're watching this, sorry, I'm just trying to think what time this is going to go live. Now, if you're watching this just as it's been uploaded, switch over to 693 AM radio. That's Weekend Gardening with Aaron James. I think it's Heidi. My apologies if I got it wrong, but I think it's Heidi Martin that's on. Uh, he'll be, and if it's not, it's Dar um, <laughs> James Wall. So it's one of the two who are going to be talking on there. Switch over, support them as well, and obviously visit their garden centres and support them as best you can because they're there to make a living and give you a good time and a happy garden as well. From Eva Silly, I think I've said enough, folks. If you've switched off, well, bad luck. But if you're still here, good on you, mate. That's a that's a that's a major effort from Eva Silly, but Essie.